Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, this day we are presented with the image of Saint Joseph, the righteous father of Jesus in this world. And so in this Mass, let us ask for the intercession of our beloved Saint Joseph, that he may bring us to the heart of Jesus. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. 
Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who are weighed down from of old by slavery beneath the yoke of sin may be set free by the newness of the long-awaited nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous shoot to David. As king, he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah shall be saved. Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name they give him, the Lord our justice. Therefore, the days will come, says the Lord, when they shall no longer say, As the Lord lives, who brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but rather, as the Lord lives, who brought the descendants of the house of Israel up from the land of the north and from all the lands to which I banished them, they shall again live on their own land. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in His time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment, endow the king, and with your justice, the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when there was no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor, the lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds, and blessed forever be his glorious name, May the whole earth be filled with his glory. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Please stand. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. O leader of the house of Israel, giver of the law to Moses on Sinai, come to rescue us with your mighty power. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. 
Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. He had no relations with her until she bore a son, and he named him Jesus. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. As we continue our journey this Advent, today we are presented with the image, the character of St. Joseph. In our two readings today, he was characterized as a righteous man a righteous father, isang matuwid na ama, isang matuwid na tao. But how do we understand the word righteous? How do we see a person who is righteous? Most of the time, my dear brothers and sisters, when we hear the word righteous, sometimes we understand that person as a stiff person. A person who follows. A person who understands his role. A person who follows the standards. That is why he is called righteous. But today, my dear brothers and sisters, St. Joseph somehow changes this for us. Righteousness is not just being concerned about yourself, about how you follow the law, about how you follow the standard, that is self-righteousness. You are just concerned about your self-image. Matuwid kaya ako sa tingin ng iba? Sa tingin ba ng iba ay maayos ako? That is not the righteousness of Joseph. For Joseph, righteousness is not about being concerned with oneself. Righteousness is caring for others. In our Gospel reading today, we see how Joseph was described. He said, the Gospel said, Joseph was a righteous man, but he was unwilling to expose Mary to shame. Yes, he was a righteous man. He was concerned of following the law. He was concerned of being a good Jewish man in front of the people of Israel. But 
he was also concerned of Mary. He was also concerned of the situation of her wife. My dear brothers and sisters, righteousness is not just about being concerned of oneself. If we are following the law, if we are following the standards of being a righteous person, that is not true righteousness. Righteousness is fulfilled when you also care for others. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us learn from St. Joseph. A man who is not just concerned with his image, but a man who is concerned, who cared for his family. If you want to be a righteous father, a righteous husband, do not just look at your image in front of others. See if you are really concerned and if you truly care for your wife and for your family. That is a righteous husband. A husband who knows how to care and be concerned of his family. If you want to be a righteous wife, do not just be concerned if you are following the standards of the world of looking like a good wife. The righteousness of a wife, of a mother, is seen in her concern, in her care for her family. If you want to be a righteous son or daughter, if you want to become a righteous employee in your office or in your place of work, start caring for others. That is being righteous. We have so many examples of saints, not just Saint Joseph, but the so many saints in our church who are also called righteous. If we will look at their lives, they are not just concerned about their own image. In fact, no one among the saints told us to make images of them, to make statues and pictures of them. But these saints were called righteous because they cared for their brothers and sisters. My dear brothers and sisters, today, St. Joseph teaches us the true meaning of righteousness, and that is our loving concern for others. May the season of Advent teach us true righteousness so that when our Lord Jesus comes, he may find a people who is righteous, a people who have concern for others. Amen. Please stand. In union with St. Joseph, the man of great faith, let us make our prayers together as God's family. For every petition, let us say, Father of all, bless us. Father of all, bless us. That the presence of Jesus, who is our truth, may be perceived through our life's witness and examples, let us pray to the Lord, Father, Father of all, bless us. That public that government officials like Saint Joseph may be sensitive and discerning of God's plan as it unfolds in the day-to-day -day events of life. Let us pray to the Lord, Father of all, bless us. That fathers may show special love and concern for their families through their diligence and edifying life, let us pray to the Lord. 
Father of all, bless us. That those who are undergoing crisis in their personal and family life may have the hope and faith of Saint Joseph, let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, bless us. That through the intercession of Saint Joseph, the dying may find consolation in their last hours, let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of all, bless us. O Lord, help us to be united as one family under your fatherhood. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice to be offered to you, O Lord, make us acceptable to your name, that we may merit for all eternity to be the companions of Christ, by whose death our own mortality was healed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say... Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and, and my, my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May we receive your mercy in the midst of your temple, O Lord, and show fitting honor to the coming solemnities of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.